Barman was an innovator, although not a big fan of the word. He woke up every day ready to solve problems. You could say most had to do with shoes, but those coached by him learned it was more about potential. The product we dream up challenges us to advance our methods of make. Each plays its part in helping athletes achieve their goals. We all solve problems daily, meaning our collective DNA dates back to the original builder. I work on the Nike Smart Systems engineering team. I'm a mechanical engineer. One of the big challenges of this program was integrating consumer electronics with footwear. From an engineering perspective, they are two very different worlds. Being able to work together with our footwear partners to figure that out and make it scalable was a huge part of the process. The vision of Vapormax is to deliver the great sensation of air to consumers directly without any interface. When we just you know, kick off this concept to you know, our factory partners, we had to break all the rules you know, how to make shoes. Air is really special, and the iteration of air that we use now uses a technology called microlayer. Nike is the only place on the planet that can do this. From a textile standpoint, knits, wovens, non-wovens, like it's about the construction that really helps you create something new. You change the needle and you have a new innovation. Like you add a, a row or you add like a spacer, like you, you can add, take away from this one machine and have something totally new and innovative. You gotta learn what you can do and what can be done to break the rules and do something new. When great things happen, there's always great collaboration. It's not like you're on, oh, I've got this idea and a concept and let's just go execute it. It doesn't exist. Where the magic comes in is when you team our Asia team together with our, our factory people, it just doesn't happen any other way. And we do these concepts that blow away the industry and we surprise ourselves at times on what we can do. We're challenged every day, new projects, new solutions new methods of make. We take every opportunity to uh, critically look at those problems and figure out what's the best way we can solve it with solutions either from our own industry or from other industries. And we've had the honor and privilege to be working with Nike since 1987 and really building that foundation of innovation, more than just equipment, but really a mindset and just our staff and understanding that innovation really is a challenge of opportunity. So how can we creatively come up with solutions that benefit the athlete and the consumers and do it in a way that no one else can? I think the reason that we're being able to unlock this level of innovation goes back to everyone collectively and to end having the same vision of who we're serving. So I think having any of our partners just be as obsessed as we are with sport and with athletes is actually part of the journey because I think it's a misunderstood part of what we do. It's amazing to me, you walk around campus and you talk to people and people haven't been in a footwear factory. They don't really understand that side of it. And that's actually, the, that, to me, that's the secret sauce. It's kind of what makes us special. So I think my realization, that was the first time I ever went to Asia. You kind of walk into a factory, you spend time with our partners and you realize what they do for us is actually the competitive advantage in Nike. Frank Rudy came to Phil and said, I've got this invention, and Phil thought, well, this will never work, and then went for a run and came back and said, well, this might work. And looking back, it was the start of something truly great, incredible growth, far more than we ever would have expected. In fact, I think as Mark Parker recently said, if Air was a standalone business, it would be the third largest company in footwear and apparel. There's a difference between making one and making millions, and the gap 
is typically solved with really great development, really great engineering and really great manufacturing.